contention as speculation and scandals question the marriage of Prince Frederick and Princess Mary. The controversial 2006 prenuptial agreement, which was signed after the royal wedding and just two years before the birth of their first child, plays a key role. Content of the prenuptial agreement the prenuptial agreement between Prince Frederick and Princess Mary was drafted to provide clear arrangements for financial and legal matters in the event of a divorce. However, the clauses in it now raise questions as they would put Mary Donaldson at a significant disadvantage in the event of a potential separation. Financial Implications A key point of the agreement concerns Princess Mary's financial situation following a divorce. According to the analyses, Mary would have to forego any financial compensation in the event of a separation. This could mean that she not only forgoes privileges and comforts, but also finds herself in an uncertain financial situation. The exact provision also affects potential funds to which Mary Donaldson would be entitled under normal circumstances. The agreement restricts her freedom of choice as to where she could live after a divorce neither inside nor outside Denmark. It is emphasized that the royal family would not pay for her housing costs. Insight through comparison with previous royal divorces. Princess Mary's prenuptial agreement is reminiscent of the situation of Prince Joachim and Alexandra of Denmark. After her divorce, Alexandra received generous support from the royal family, including a multi-million pound house, a historically significant tiara and financial support for her firstborn son Felix. The differences between the arrangements for Alexandra and the potential disadvantage for Princess Mary raise questions about whether such prenuptial agreements could have social as well as legal implications. Reaction from the Danish royal family Amid the public furor over the royal marriage crisis and the prenuptial agreement, the Danish royal family has issued an official statement emphasizing that it refuses to evaluate private and intimate aspects of its members. However, the statement does not underline the stability of the royal marriage, but merely confirms that the royal house will not comment publicly on such matters. The royal family's silence in relation to the current speculation and scandals fuels speculation about possible crises within the royal family and raises the question of what impact this could have on the reputation of the royal institution.